Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Python test tutorial, we are going to learn about the advanced data types in Python and we'll start with the list. So we'll understand what are lists in Python and how you can list Python. Let me quickly create a file and I'll name it as lists for Python. All right. When we say list, in list you have a collection of different values. So it, it can hold multiple items. So till now, when we had defined a variable, say for example, we defined a variable x and we assigned a value 10 on integer 10. So x is holding only a single value in it. If I assign a variable y and I assign a, a variable or a string in that particular case, string to this particular variable, then it's the y variable is still holding single value. Now, when we talk about list, a list can hold multiple values and to define a list you just need the square brackets and within the square brackets I can define our uh, different values so basically comma separated different values can be assigned to this particular list okay so and the list can hold any data type so in this particular case it is holding integers I can have strings okay so i can say as um, i can say st or any other value here so i can say rcv and then for uh, let me change it to academy first and then and here i can have stm okay so i can have a list which holds string i can have a list which stores the integers i can have a list which stores float or i can have a list which stores the combination of any of these so i can have a list say for example i'll simply copy it and we change it to um, a and b so now this particular list can hold the integer i can change this 20 to string and i can change this 50 to float and simply specify dot zero so all of that is possible in list it can hold uh, multiple values whether they are string integers uh, they can be of the same type or they can be a mix of different types okay now the values or the string uh, the list values are uh, can be accessed through the indexes right so list holds all the values uh, and uh, through the indexes so basically say for example index will start from zero if I want to get the value of the list uh, the first value of list b then i need to simply specify i can say print and in the print statement i'll simply specify the index of the value that i'm looking for so in this case if i'm looking for 10 i will simply provide 0 as an index and then this value 10 will get printed if i'm looking to print uh, academy from the list a I will change the list as a and then change the index to 2 right so this is the zeroth index 1 and second so in the second index it will print academy for me okay so the values in list are can be accessed through the index another important thing about list and add the item in the list I can remove the new there are methods available functions available in Python which I'll cover in the next tutorial what all key functions you can use methods you can use to manipulate lists uh, list elements okay so we can add we can remove items and then um, the, these uh, lists can be updated uh, then the other important thing is that list can accept duplicate values so say for example i want to have another value same value so for example 40 in this particular list then that is possible okay so in this particular B list, I have two values. And in this case, um, the duplicate values are allowed in the list. Duplicate values are allowed. Okay. Now, then say, for example, we want to find the data type, right? So how we can find the data type of the list. So we have the type function. So we have understood about the type function. So say print and then type of b say for example right so if you simply say type of b or the 
variable for the list, then it will print whatever the type of that particular data type is, right? So you can see list has been printed. So class is list. So with the type function, we can find out the data type for that particular variable. Okay. So this clearly shows that these are all lists. Okay. Now the next important thing is around slicing of the list. We've understood about the we can do the same operations in the list as well. Now because list uh, the values in the list are stored as the indexes, so we can perform similar operations as we have understood about the strings. So if I have to find the values within the string or or sub list basically so what we can do is we can simply say s and then within the indexes i can specify the starting index and then colon and the ending index so for example i want to get the values of uh, the list s okay so here is uh, let me change it to b and i want to get the values starting from index 0 and then ending at index three index three so four won't be counts because four is excluded so you can read it as first four values of this particular list so it will print 10 20 40 and 50 it will skip this last value so if i run this then you will see the updated list got printed or basically it will pick the values from zero to four and print so here you can see that it is absolutely similar to what we have understood in the strings that it has picked up the four values so from zero and up to three so this is zeroth index first index second and third right so it excluded the four from there now similar to what we have string uh, slide and also provide the step uh, argument here so now say for example in this particular list i want to pick the values from uh, 0 to four, third index or the first four values and then step by two so i can specify the step value here and then it will what it will do is it will iterate through or it will start from index zero then it will skip the uh, the, the value and then skip by two so basically it will print 10 and 40 in this particular case so if i run this then you will see that it has printed 10 and then by two skip and printed 40 and then skip to then became out of range whatever range we have defined here right so it printed to value now if i skip by and run it so now you can see that it has printed 10 and 50 because it has skipped the three right so we have specified three so this is how you will manipulate or you will work with this uh, list in python pretty simple and uh, nothing you know too complicated about learning lists so just key things to remember is that you can you know a list will allow uh, duplicate values you can have multiple data types within the list lists are the the values in the list are stored based on the indices so we can add or remove items from the list and we can pull the items uh, we can get a subset of list so all that operations are possible now in the next tutorial i'll cover some of the very key functions that are available in the list so for example length how to find the length of the list and how to add or remove items from the list so all that we'll cover now these concepts i'm explaining because these concepts will be required when you are designing the automation framework and understanding of these concepts helps a lot in the scenario based problem say when you are doing automation and you want to um, find the solution of certain you know uh, issues or you want to find the approach then if you know how different data types can be used and how to use them it will help you a lot in creating the automation scripts which are more maintainable and robust so that's all for this tutorial about lists in python I'll see you in the next next class of list wherein we'll understand the list methods and some of the key methods that you'll be using in the automation. Okay, so that's all. Thank you much for watching.